Hey guys, this is uh, Slime with Dryfly RC. Today I wanted to uh, review something with you I thought might help some people out there trying to deal with the same issue as me. Um, I have a uh, Dragon Avionics Screamy trying to get set up uh, running Naze, Afro, I'm sure it would work on Acro as well. Uh, and getting that to, to work by, uh, by a trigger switch. Now the problem with just hooking it up to the uh, the uh, buzzer pin on here, sorry, um, is that when you turn it on, it just beeps anyway if there's not a signal coming to it. So the way to overcome that is to hook it up to the positive and negative pins on the buzzer out, um, assign the buzzer to an auxiliary channel on your TX, and then run the signal wire to uh, one of the motor pin out signals uh, this is motor pin 5 signal cable, I just have it directly soldered on there, into the uh, servo, into the servo port on the uh, Dragon Avionics screeny. You're going to run the negative cable into the GPIO, and then the positive cable into the 5 volt source. Now once you do that, let's plug in the quad here, I'm going to put you down real quick. Okay, so quad is booting up, turn on Screamy, you get a confirmation beep. Um, I have it set to this switch right here. Um, let's see. When you flip the switch, you'll see that the light starts flashing. It takes 30 seconds, and then uh, once that time has elapsed, you'll start to get the signal beep. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, this was kind of a pain to figure out for me because um, there's no information. With a PPM receiver, you can't just run it on channel 2. It just doesn't work if you stick it in there and try and run it off channel 2. You can't assign it to a switch or anything, so there's no point in doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's how you set it up. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'll do my giveaway video. Uh, the winner will be announced tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, have a great night.